Hi there you guys, Halloween is coming, that is why I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful skull earrings. They are easy to make, especially if you, if you are familiar with the brick stitch, but if you're not, I will show it really easy step by step and you will be able to make it. And that's why I'm providing this beautiful pattern to be easier for you to make it. Okay, you could uh, pause it and follow it. And uh, I'm going to be showing you and guiding you all the way. So I'm sure you're going to be able to do this. Okay, so what you need for this one are delicate beads. Uh, they are really even and cylindric beads. And uh, if you don't know uh, where to find them, check the links be below to Amazon. Uh, it's an easy project. It's not difficult and I have similar projects with different patterns. I'll link them here. And also I have a tutorial on how to make your own pattern and I'll also link to it here at the eye icon. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. In this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of Delica beads. They are cylindric small beads that are even in shape. And I'm using here size 11 0 but you could use 10 0 whatever. And here I use uh, ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. And um, here I have scissors and what I need for this video is a pattern. Okay, this is the pattern and I will show you how I'm using it and how I'm working with this pattern later. And uh, uh, you could pause it on your screens and uh, follow it when I show you how I'm making this beautiful brick stitch. Okay, and now I'm going to put about four feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and four feet of thread. This is 1.2 meters for those who measure in centimeters. And now guys, I'm going to start with my brick stitch. And in order to start, I will take this pattern here, you see, and I will start from its upper part. You see here on the top, I have three beads. Here, I will remove this uh, uh, most top bead here because I won't put it because here I will put my ear wire at the end so I will start from these two black beads and I'm starting by picking up those two black beads okay you see the cylindric shape and I'm sliding those down and here I will uh, I will leave about uh, 10 inches of tail, which is about 25 centimeters. You see, I'm leaving a tail here and I'm going to make a knot here. Okay. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop. And I'm going twice here through this loop I've made and I pull. And now guys, I have my first two beads added and what I want to do is go reinforce the joint between them. You see they are connected from one side. They are side by side here. Okay. And I'm going around through them like this. Reinforcing that joint here. And this tail thread here, I will use to attach my ear wire at the end. Okay. Then what comes in my scheme are black, white, black. Okay. You see, 
this is the third row black white black and I will turn my work in this direction my thread is going out of this left bead okay and what I'm going to take are the first two beads a black and a white and this brick stitch it's done by going under this thread bridge between uh, the beads this technique is used anywhere if you are not familiar with the brick stitch don't worry I will show it here really slowly okay now I've been through this under this brick stitch and then I will go through this white bead that's closer to the center of my work I'm going through it and when I pull you see what I have those beads stay next to each other and now according to my scheme I need one more black bead that is why I'm taking it I'm going through the closest thread bridge I will always go through the thread bridges here I pull and when I pull I go back again through the same bead that I added now what I like to do is to flip my work it's not obligatory but I prefer to do this okay now I will take my scheme and here you see the third row is black white black and now I have black two whites and black now I will start with a black and a white I always start my row with a black and a white with uh, two beads I mean not with a black with white but two beads whatever color they are and now I take those two beads and go to the very first thread bridge when I expand my work which will be until the center of my figure I will go when I add two beads in the beginning of my row I will go through the first thread bridge okay now according to my scheme I need a white and a black in the next one I'm adding one by one okay a white going through the following thread bridge like this then going back to the bead that I just added like this and then adding one black bead and I'm going through the last thread bridge that I've been through with the white one the one that's closest to my work and then I go through this bit that I just added okay okay now my fourth row is ready okay <clears throat> and now guys it's time to add this row here two blacks one white two blacks okay and I flip my work again and first I need two blacks the first one I'm always adding two by two going through the very first thread bridge here go through this black one then I need only one white bead okay this one I go here through the center of my work like this and go back to the white then I need two more blacks one black here go back through this black one and one more black go through the thread bridge through the last thread bridge that you added and through the same bead that you just added okay this row is ready now I will flip my work and you see guys my next row will consist of only black beads and I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this by yourself okay I will show you only the first step
okay here. My first step is go through the first thread bridge, then go through the, the, the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Now add only black beads until the end of this row and I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just added my last sixth black bead from this row and now I'm going to flip my work and I will show you my next row where I'm starting my scope. Okay, the first step is to take two black beads, then three whites and two blacks. Okay, I will show you the first step, two blacks. Then add three whites. and two blacks. Okay, now I'm flipping my work and in my next row I have one black, one, two, three, four, five, six blacks and one black and I'm going to start with one black and one white bead, go through the thread bridge, go here, and I will add five more white beads, and it will make six in total and one black. And when I do this, I will be back. Okay, and I just did this row, okay, this row here. And now I'm going to do this row, which is one black, seven whites, one black. And I'm flipping my work. I'm taking a black and a white first. Going here through the first thread bridge because I'm expanding my work. And then I'm going through the first white bead. Then six more white beads and one black and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row and I'm going to flip my work. Then in my next row, it's more complicated. Black, white, two blacks, two whites, two blacks, white and black. Okay, pause this video, do it off camera, and I will also do this and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys, and I just added this row here, the upper part of the eyes, and now I will add this row. Black, white, three blacks, white, three blacks, white, and black. Okay, you could pause this video, do this, and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. And everything is always the same I'm showing, okay? Now I will flip my work. And now it's time to add this row, which will be the widest row in my work, okay? And it consists of two blacks, one white, two blacks, two whites, two blacks, one white, and two blacks. And I will start with two blacks and let you do this by yourself. Okay, I'm taking two blacks, going here to the very first thread bridge because this is the last row where I'm expanding my work, going through the very first bla black bead, sorry. Okay, then here I have a white one, okay, a white one. Okay, and now guys, pause it, do this until the end of this row, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next, okay? See you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am, 
where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. I hope it's not a problem for you to follow the scheme. Or you could pause even on this element and follow the sequence of the beads that I'm adding. Okay, like this. And now guys, I'm going to flip my work. And now I'm going to start decreasing. Okay, this was the widest row in my work. And in my next step, I'm going to decrease. And I will start this with two black beads and continue with three white beads. Okay, and the decreasing process, it's really easy. Take two black beads and go not through the very first thread bridge, but to the, through the second thread bridge. Now I'm decreasing, not here, but here, okay? And now those beads stay really strange. That is why when I decrease, I'm going to make an additional step not only going through this first uh, bead here, but you see how this sits not straight. And I will go also through this one. And then back through this one again. To make them stay nice and even. You see, you make this only in your first step. Then, in my work, it comes three white beads, and I'm going to add them. Then, according to my work, it's one black and three whites more. This is the top part of the nose of my skull. And then, guys, I'm going to add two black beads. Okay, guys, and now my first row of decreasing is ready. And I'm going to flip my work. And I will show you one more time uh, the decreasing process. Okay, here I also have two black beads and two white beads and then my nose two black beads okay I will start with two black beads and I'll show you the decreasing process one more time two beads not go here through the first one but go through the second thread bridge here you see this one is empty I'm going through the second one okay then I go through this one, but always when I decrease, I go through this bead and one more time through this one here. Okay, and when I pull, you see what I have. Now pause this video and add. Two, two whites, two blacks, two whites and two blacks. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just added here this row. And this is the last bead from this row. And now I'm going to show you one more time how I'm starting uh, uh, the next row of decretion. Okay, two black beads, one, two, three, four, five whites and two blacks. And I will show you the decreasing process one more last time. Okay, two beads, then skip the first thread bridge and go through the second. You see, this is the difference. When I'm increasing, I'm going through the first thread bridge. And now I will go through the second one. Okay, then 
I have one more additional step. You should remember only this rule, that you go through the second thread bridge when you decrease and through the first when you increase. And when you decrease, you have an additional step of reinforcing your beads to stay in a nice shape. Okay? Then, guys, pause this video Continue with one, two, three, four, five whites and two blacks, and then continue until the end of this row. And I will meet you here, guys. I think you get the idea of the decretion process, and I'll meet you here and show you how to finish your earring. And here I am, guys, at the end of my work. And now I need to add two blacks and then one black. Okay, I'm taking two blacks going here through the second thread bridge then go through this one back through this one like I did before everything is the same only that this way consists of two beads instead of more okay and then I need to add the last black bead going under this thread bridge here then I'm going back through it like this okay guys now I have this and then I will go here through some beads in this direction make some knots and cut my thread okay here I make a loop go once through this loop I meet and I pull and I'm going to repeat this go through the following seed bead make a loop go once through this loop you've made don't go twice because the beads are too fine for going twice and this might change your work and make it bend okay but you could repeat this several times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread never cut next to a knot always go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread okay now i'm going to put my needle here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I put my needle on this side of my work and now it's time to add my ear wire. And in order to add it, I will take one seed bead, then I will take my ear wire and I'm going to take one more black seed bead. So this is what I have. And as I'm exiting through one of my those two black beads here, I will go back through it like that. And then I'm going to reinforce this joint here by going around several times through it. Okay, first through this black bead, then through this one here. Okay. And do this several more times and when you're ready go here in this direction through some beads and make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop going through this loop and pull then I'm going to repeat this make here a loop go through it once pull go through the following bead and you could continue this until the end of this row and when you're ready cut your thread and your earring will be ready 
okay guys and now my school halloween earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to amazon where you could buy supplies from link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me